When thinking of ideas of what I should learn next, I spotted something in the corner of my eye. A Rubik's Cube. Puzzle games have never been my strong suit. Dog. No. Pick up fall. I activate my trap card. No. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Pokemon! So I decided to leave it and focus on other ideas. The brainstorming was going well. I was coming up with amazing ideas. People were telling me what I should learn next. And eventually I came up with the... the, the oh, who am I kidding? The brainstorming was going to shit. Every single time I thought I was on the verge of coming up with a good idea, there it was, staring at me. No, not him. Him. Wherever I went, it kept following me. So eventually I gave in and decided to attempt the Rubik's Cube. Unfortunately, that didn't go so well. Thanks to Reddit, I got a list of movies that included Rubik's Cubes, but even that didn't help. I was stuck, and the movie wasn't really helping either. I had to find someone who could teach me. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike Boyd. This is Mike Boyd. He is a YouTuber who likes to learn new skills, and the one thing we have in common is the Rubik's Cube. He has a Skillshare course on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Make a white cross. Right, I need to dumb this down by a f ton. <laughs> When I didn't know how to do it, the frustration started to kick in. I like to complete challenges as fast as possible, but this wasn't one of those challenges. I had to slow down and analyse the cube, and eventually I made a cross. Filling in the remaining white pieces meant I had to match the corner colours up with their correct middle colour. I was happy that I matched up one side, then I realised I had to complete the others as well. Each time I was getting better at completing one side, but the two layers were never the same colour. I tried to match up the layers, but the pattern would get messed up. Eventually, my wife had enough and explained it to me. And now you're just showing off. Yes! Orange, green, red, blue. I was so glad I was on the last layer. All I had to do was follow the algorithm and it would be easy to complete. Okay, let's be honest, this is what actually happened. <laughs> Looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. The movies and TV shows weren't clear enough on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. The only thing it gave me was... EMOTIONAL DAMMIT! Even though Mike's lessons were very good, there were bits I needed help on. And thanks to my wife who explained the parts that I didn't understand. And what was left was for me to memorise certain methods and algorithms for completing the last layer of the Rubik's Cube. Now how the heck did I do that? That took some time having to remember the... You know what? We need to fix this. Be right back. Ah, there we go. That took some time to memorize the algorithm for the cube. Because if I had made one wrong move, then the entire cube would get messed up and I would have to start all over again until eventually I managed to memorize the algorithm and complete the cube. That's it for today, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I post content on my channel, learning stuff from pop culture. So if there is anything that you'd like me to learn, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to it, like it, and share it with your friends and your family. I'll see you in the next one.